Hello and welcome to Flutterflow Academy. Today we will have a look at custom widgets. In the first part of this video we will tell you what custom widgets are and why they are important for your app development. After that we will create our own custom widget and show you how you can create any widget that you would like. In the last part of this tutorial we will show you how we can use the widget that we created in our project. But now, let's take a big sip of our coffee and get started. So with every minute of using Flutterflow, you will discover some new functionalities and widgets. Flutter itself offers a ton of widgets that you can use in your Flutterflow app, which is amazing for us as no-code developers. But the time will come when we want to create our own widgets or when we want to use widgets that others have created for us. And all of that is possible with the custom widget functionality right here in Flutterflow. It seems reasonable that we can create our own widgets with our own Flutter code, but you might be wondering how you can use widgets that others have created. If you are not a Flutter developer, you probably don't know this, but Flutter has a large, amazing community that consistently works on new packages that you can use in your own apps. And with the custom widgets functionality of Flutterflow, you can access all these packages. To use these packages, we need to open up a new tab. Let's go to pub.dev. Pub.dev is the domain that we need to open up here in our browser. Here at pub.dev, we can look at some examples. Let's say we want to build a budgeting app and show our users how much money they have spent in different categories. To visualize this, we might need a pie chart, but Flutter itself doesn't offer any widgets that can be used as a pie chart. But let's search for a pie chart. So just go into search packages, type in pie chart and hit enter. And here you can see, we see a lot of packages that offer us a pie chart. So exactly the functionality that you are looking for, you can search here on pub.dev and you will find the packages that you will need for your Flutterflow app. So let's look into one. If I click on this first pie chart example, I can see that someone already created a perfect pie chart like I would need it for a budgeting app. So if you're new to this concept, I would absolutely recommend to just visit pub.dev and have a look at all the different packages that you can implement into your app. A huge variety of new possibilities opens up to you if you just wander around a bit on pub.dev. But now, let's go back to Flutterflow. We will now talk about how to create a custom widget here in Flutterflow. Because it's amazing that all this stuff is over there at pub.dev, but how do we get it over here into Flutterflow into our own app? To get it over here into our Flutterflow app, we have to go here to the menu bar on the left hand side, go down to closely the last item and see this little icon that says custom functions. Let's click on it. Now we are in this area where you should see an empty screen saying custom functions and a headline saying custom code. But we are talking about custom widgets here, right? Yeah, we do. So let's click on the second option here in the menu up top. Next to custom functions, you can find custom widgets. Let's click on it. Now we are here in the custom widgets area. Here, we have to click on Create. Now, before we start doing something, let's better understand what just opened up here after I clicked on Create. This is the screen that should have opened up inside of your browser after you clicked on Create under the Custom Widget section. And the bigger right-hand side of this window is taken in by a code editor. It's a, it's a simple code editor right on your desktop, where you can, if you're familiar with writing code, just start to write Flutter code, or Dart code to be more specific. So as an example, if I wanted to create a new class here, I could just go in and type class test and just write my code in here. But we will come back on this later. So let's delete it. Now on the left hand side of the screen, we can give our widget a name and below that we can add parameters. If you're new to either Flutter or Flutterflow, you might be wondering what that means. Well, once we create our own widget, we can use it in our app multiple times. But often, we don't want exactly the same widget. We always want it to have a specific width and height, which is why it's required by Flutterflow to add one. 
but we might also want to show a different text each time that we use a widget. For that, we would need another parameter. So let's click on this blue button here that says Add Parameter. This little menu should have opened up now. So we just talked about a parameter where we add custom text every time we use a widget. For that, conveniently enough, the data type string is already selected, but there are many more data types. You can learn about the different data types in some of our other videos. But for now, let's select string. Now we also need to give the parameter a name. So let's just call it test string to test it out. You can also say if the parameter is a list or not. You can select true or false. For now, we will leave it at false. If I now click on add parameter, you can see that I can add many more parameters, how much ever I will need. I will go ahead and remove the third parameter and show you now I have a parameter 2 and the width and height. These are my parameters for the custom widget that I'm building right now. And now Flutterflow knows that we want to use a different text each time that we use this widget. If this explanation was a bit too fast, don't worry. We will create our own widget in a minute and I'm sure that you will understand it then. It's pretty simple actually. Let's delete parameter 2 for now as well. Below the add parameter section, there is the required pub spec dependency section. This little section right here. Despite of the name, adding such a dependency is not necessary for a custom widget. But if you do want to add one here, you can. On the bottom, you have the opportunity to upload your own code if you want to use a file that you already have created. This blue button right here gives you the opportunity to upload code right away. This might be also an interesting feature if you're maybe working in a team with a developer who knows how to write Flutter or more specifically Dart code. Then he or she can just send you the files and you can upload it right here. This is just one of many features that makes Flutterflow a great collaboration tool if you want to build no-code apps, just as a little side note. But this upload code stuff is more of an advanced feature, so let's stick to the basics and create our own small widget. And for me, this is simply an icon widget that is a row with a text and all of it should have a background color. However, I want the text and the color to be variable. So each time that I use this widget in my app, I can choose a different text and color. At first, we can give this widget a name. Let's call it test widget. So let's go into the widget name bar and type test widget. If you are new to Flutter or coding in general, one thing that you should know is that there's always a specific way to name things. If you're interested in this, just drop us a comment and we will go right ahead and make a video about it. But back to our widget. Now we need to define the parameters. Because we want the text and color to be different each time that we use our widget, we need to create a text and a color parameter. As we have discussed earlier, the width and height are mandatory, so there's little that we can change about that. Now let's click on add parameter. And now just let's call a parameter test string again. The data type of our parameter stays again string, but like I said earlier, if you're interested in this, check out our other videos about data types. Is list is checked at false. Now we are already finished with this first parameter. Now let's click on add parameter to add our second, but the in total third parameter. We will call this one test color. But as you can already imagine, this data type might be a bit different than the one before, because on the one hand side, we're talking about text and on the other hand side, we're talking about colors. So now let's click on data type. And as you can see, the big list pops up again. And very conveniently here at the top, we can already see there is a color option. So let's select color. This once again, shouldn't be a list. So let's leave it at false. Great, now we have added the two parameters that we need for our app. Now we can actually start coding, but Flutterflow wouldn't be Flutterflow if it wouldn't help us with it. Let's click on view boilerplate code. And as you can see, Flutterflow already created some Dart code for us. The name of this class is the same that we gave our widget and the variables are the same as our parameters. To use this code, we can simply click on copy to editor, which is very convenient. So let's click on it. Let's click copy to editor. And et voila, the 24 lines of Dart code are right here in our code editor. In the rare case that you want to start coding from scratch, please keep in mind that you need to use the same name for the widget 
as you use for the class and that you need to use these parameters that you have defined over here in the parameter section. Okay, now here's the hard part. We actually need to code. Because we are in a no-code tutorial, I don't want to bore you with the details and I will simply copy the widget that I have already created in our code editor. If you want to learn more about the basics of Flutter, which I would absolutely recommend, please tell us in the comments. There are a ton of great video courses and we will tell you about them. But now I will replace this line 22 with the code that I wrote. So command V and et voila, there's the code. Now I can click on compile and preview. After I did that, I will need to click on compile again. This might take a couple of seconds, so please bear with me. And et voila, our custom widget is done and we have a preview. You can see that the parameters test string, a text that I have over here, is there and also the parameter test color. So let's set the text to something, something more like hello world, something like hello Flutterflow. And now let's set the color, which is kind of the background color, to maybe white. Let's click use color. And we can see there it is, our custom widget. We have a little icon, we have a text and a background color. We just checked that everything really works flawless. So now we can click on save. And as you can see, my test widget with the parameters that I defined is here in my custom widgets area. But now that I built this custom widget with my own hands in the code editor, I want to use the widget. So to use the widget, we now have to go simply back to the UI builder, which is here in the left hand menu bar under this little icon, which says UI builder. And after I'm here, I can click on the little diamond, which says components. And there we can already see our custom widget that says test widget. So now let's drag it onto the screen. Now we will have to give it a width and a height like it's a really normal widget. Let's give it an infinite width and a height of 50. We can do that over here where we can say infinite width with clicking on this little icon and the height, let's say 50 in pixels. That seems great. We can see the icon, we can see the text, all great. But maybe let's change our text to something like you are awesome. because you are awesome if you made it to this point of the tutorial. And last but not least, the background color of our widget, we can change it as well, maybe to a nice orange, something like this. And there you go. Now we can use this widget throughout our whole app and we can make the text and the color and the width and the height always customized to the situation where we need to use the widget. But now to sum it up, with custom widgets, we can create our own widgets by using Flutter or be, to be more specifically Dart code. This is a great option whenever the normal Flutter widgets are not enough for your own creations. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and happy Flutter flowing.